Hi guys, welcome to another video. This one's kind of gonna be a little bit of a bonus video. Um, me and James were talking about what we wanted to do next and talk about, and we thought that it was time to share something a little bit more hopeful. As you all know, we're kind of going through a crazy time with the COVID-19 virus like, spreading around, and everyone's kind of been at stay-at-home order here in Michigan, and we just found out today that our schools are actually gonna be closed for the rest of the year. So with all this craziness um, online and on Facebook and on all these other social sites, I thought it'd be good to share something positive, um, especially our last two videos kind of had some emotions there. And I told him, I was like, we need some hope. So we need to share a little bit of something exciting and hopeful. So I'm excited to kind of let all the emotions aside. I know that a lot of us right now aren't able to do any embryo transfers or even to put things on the calendar because a lot of our um, fertility clinics aren't even allowing it to be an option. So of course, everything's for the safety of all of us and for them. And we know they have a lot going on, but I still want to be, able to hope a little bit, if you know what I mean, look forward to the future. So today um, I got a special little box here of some baby things that James and I have been saving. Um, we kind of go through them a little bit. James suggested that I kind of go through them one-on-one -on -one and just share a little bit of my heart. So these are some things that um, have been either passed down to me or that James and I have started to collect when we started trying to have kiddos um, in 2016 after we got married. So I'm just going to go through the box and um, share a little bit of my heart with y'all and hopefully we can kind of just have a good time together and focus on some things positive. I'm gonna share probably 10 or 15 items. Um, some of them are kind of combined, but um, I think I'm gonna title this video 10 uh, special baby items we've been saving or something like that. And um, of course there's gonna be a lot of bonus things because I can't really pick, there's quite a lot. So first let's get started with um, this rhino. So when James and I originally announced that um, we had infertility, we of course have been asked so many times by people, of course, because they're excited for us after we're married um, and when we're gonna have kids for like the first year and a half or so. So James and I decided to take the initiative and just announce that we had infertility and that we were gonna go towards um, IVF for adoption because at that time we didn't know that IVF wasn't an option. Um, and so James's nickname in high school was Rhino because his hair used to be kind of spiked in the front. So ever since then, it's been his favorite animal and we've kind of just went with it for different things and so hence the rhino so we did kind of like this cute little safari picture that basically was like you know a pregnancy announcement but it was an infertility announcement we kind of made it fun and funny i'll insert a couple of pictures here um so we kind of pretend we're in the jungle and we're like you know, we discovered we had infertility type of a thing but um that's not normally everyone's thing we were just being a little bit kind of funny we have to sometimes bring humor to infertility because if you don't you can kind of get a little bit depressed and sad sometimes Next on the list, I'll share this little hat. It's a little baby hat. It's kind of big for a newborn, but it's super cute and it's just kind of what it stands for. So James and I went on one of our little anniversary trips to Mackinac or summer trips. Um, and we got this little hat just because we thought it was really cute. It was the first time I actually got to go um, to the USCGC, which is like a big icebreaker over Mackinac to view it. Um, so we went ahead and got a little hat. James has been there before as a kid, so he just thought like a little um, sentimental thing would be kind of sweet for us to get for our kid. Here's another hat. This used to actually be James's when he was little, um, and it's so nice. <laughs> it's good condition. If you see in our videos a lot of times, James is wearing a lot of Carhartt. He's a big fan of Carhartt brand. So this is a cute little hat that we've been saving for a baby. Um, and it's again really big for a newborn, but you know, hopefully um, if it's a boy, he'll grow into it. Um, something special, um, back when I got married, um, we had I think six or seven nieces and nephews at that time. Now we have 16, well we have 15 with one on the way, a little girl on the way. Um, and back then at that time frame, I think we had like six or seven nieces and nephews. So when we got married, we had all of them in the wedding, uh, flower girls and ring bears. And one of that little girl outfits that we had purchased um, was too small and I just decided to go ahead and save it um, for our future little girl. So that's something I've been kind of holding on to. Um, and we had like a vintage theme. It was like gold and black and white and um, emerald green. So anyway, so this was like, kind of the vintage little girl's outfit. This is a 12 month skirt and shirt, it's really cute. Kind of like that vintage vibe we got in here at this old in Henderson Castle. I'll insert a picture of one of the babies here wearing this exact outfit. So you can kind of see, and that's kind of what we've been saving. And my sister's kids um, grew out of their outfit and I was able to steal back the little shoes 
you can see those are so cute. I was able to get these back from her. Um, and I look forward to someday, if we have a girl at all, putting her in this little outfit. This little dress was passed down for my sister. Um, one of her little girls wore it. And it's just so cute and simple. It's very sweet. It's a little large, obviously. Not all of these are newborn. There's just kind of, you know, keepsakes. But I love how it has these little, you know, snowflake patterns on it. A lot of the things that we've purchased are boy related. I don't know why that is necessarily, but um, fun fact, a lot of my sisters here um, have had, all, all of the sisters here actually have had girls. So <laughs> nine nieces, I think nine here in Michigan. And a lot of the things that they've passed down are girl items. So I don't really have any boy items. So I think that's maybe why um, James and I tend to go ahead and save for boys. This is one of the very first things James and I ever bought after we found out we had infertility. It's just a onesie set, and as you can see. The rest of them are elephants, which I think are super cute too, but of course we basically just bought them for this one right here. <laughs> That's pretty much the main reason. Um, I bought this one for James on one of the Father's Days, just to kind of be an encouragement. It's a little turtle and it says, worth the wait. Um, and he's making us wait, that's for sure. Or she, depending on which one it is. Um, my sister ended up ordering something um, online and somehow she got completely the wrong order and they told her to save it. So she just went ahead and gave it to me. It's this little hat and mittens. I just thought they were super cute because it's kind of like the only set that I have right now. So this little hat, I think is just so adorable. It's all these little reindeers on it and it says Merry Christmas. I got it at a craft show. Um, that my school hosts a couple years ago, and I just couldn't put it back. This um, lady makes it. Shout out to Inspired by Grace, who's the people who make it. But look how cute that is. There's like the little palm on top, and it just kind of sits across over. Put that on the little, <laughs> kind of like that. It's just so cute. I love this little hat, and this could go for a boy or a girl, and it has like little black and red snowflakes on it too. All right, so because James is such a huge Carhartt fan, um, we found these in the store and they're all on sale. So of course we had to get them because they're so cute. So there's this one, like a little helper. It's Carhartt brand. They're starting to make onesies. This one says rugged and tough. And this one says Carhartt Wildfire Explorer. This one has a moose on it. I like this one a lot. I think this one's super cute. But these are all, um, this one's six months, three months. I think this one's three months or six months as well. So they're super cute, just little plain old onesies. Just something to kind of keep the hope alive, you know, to make you feel like, you know, I think for me, I don't always buy things or go to the baby section in the store. Most of the time I try to avoid it. But whenever we went through like a really hard time, sometimes it's nice to get a little token and kind of keep it in that way whenever baby does come, when they're wearing that or when they're, you know, involved in that little token of use it for pictures in the future, you kind of get to look back and see how God's been so good to you and, and brought you where you are. Now, this is probably the most recent outfit I've purchased. I think I bought this um, just before we went down to Chicago and for our first transfer, just to be really cute. It um, has this little outfit and things, but I bought it for this side. It says Mr. Good Vibes. I thought it was super cute. It has a little pineapple on there. And um, this one's a newborn size, so Hopefully, if we ever get to do another transfer this summer and baby's born next year, they'll get to wear this if it's a boy. So this one is very near dear to my heart, and this is supposed to be a happy video, so I'm gonna try my hardest not to tear up in it. Um, but back in January, um, my grandmother passed away. Um, and she was a very big part of my life. Um, and so it was just a very, obviously, it was a very hard time. Um, going through our um, loss that we felt, and then we lost our pastor's wife, as a lot of you know. Um, we posted that in November, the day we were on our way down for our transfer. So um, a lot of people were like, you know, you don't look so happy, you're going for a transfer. We were dealing with this huge loss and um, feeling you know, horrible for all of her daughters, and one of them is our sister-in-law. It was just a very hard time that everyone in church family were going through, but also they were going through. So we just felt 
was so bad for everyone and we wanted to be there to help and stay. Um, but that happened the day we were on our trip. So that was a very hard time. And then January came around and my grandma just started to do worse. And I was able to go spend some time with her and um, my family down in Florida um, and get to kind of uh, say goodbye in a way. And um, we just had her funeral this past February. Um, so anyway, she passed away. And this is a little teddy bear that they passed out to all of, sorry. It's supposed to be a happy video, happy, happy. Okay, I just needed a minute. This is harder than I thought. Um, anyhow, so at the funeral, they passed out these little teddy bears and other little animals um, to her grandkids that she had there, um, and of, or her great grandkids, I should say. And James and I, of course, um, are, we don't have any grandkids and we were so close. So it was a very hard thing to go through. Um, and then um, we were handed a teddy bear. So my grandfather actually asked my mom to make sure that they had one extra for me because he knew we've been trying um, and they wanted us to have one for the future. So that was a very sweet thing. So of course our baby's not here. They'll never get to have those pictures with my grandmother. Um, and that's really hard for me, but I know that she has the front row view, the best seat in the house for whenever that time does come. Um, and the um, embryos that uh, we are unfortunately not able to carry to term, I know are in heaven and I'm a little jealous because she kind of gets to spend time with them first. But anyway, so this is for the earthly grandkids, great grandkids that she gets to have um, in the future. So that's very special token um, or a memento to me. And then I think I'm going to go to our books. So James and I have been saving some books that kind of are on adoption just to kind of help introduce that at a young age. Like we've mentioned in previous videos, uh, we really want to be able to uh, talk with them about it from the beginning. We don't want it to be something that they're surprised about in the future. We want them to know that they came from a wonderful couple that um, let us adopt them. We also want them to know that there is another couple out there that have uh, fully genetic related children to them. And we hope that they get to know all the siblings between all three of our families that are here are kind of like little snowflake family group um, that has been going wonderful. So we want to be able to make sure that um, they know about all of that from the get go as much as um, we're going to be sharing at an age appropriate time. So it's a really cute book about this elephant couple um, who were wanting a child and it kept not happening and not happening and not happening. And then all of a sudden they were finally here, even though they worked hard for it and things like that. So it's kind of on the brink of adoption. Um, and I love this ending. It says, you are here. This book is super special. It's called I Know a Rhino. We have so many rhinos, guys. So many rhinos and pineapples everywhere. If I get more James, <laughs> it's gonna have a heart attack. Um, but we bought it with this rhino when we got them. They kind of came together at Kohl's. If you've seen those little animals at the end, it kind of goes as a donation. I saw leaving Kohl's one day and I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> I don't see a lot of rhino books, a lot of elephants, but not very many rhinos. Um, but this is this has nothing to do with adoption. <laughs> this is just a cute book. So we actually did some fundraisers. Um, we sold some like base goods and we did like a, a little 5K and I'll insert some pictures here. Maybe we'll kind of go more in depth about it um, at another time, but we did some small little funders just to kind of help us um, during the adoption process and during the transfer process and all that kind of a thing. So this book, we ended up having a lot of our friends and family sign um, a couple years ago when we did like, we'd have like an adoption wishing tree um, with ornaments on it. And this is like a special keepsake because this is where like everyone signed it and told us that they were praying for us, that were helping us. So it's kind of like something tangible that our kids get to look at and read through and to know who was there for them and who was trying to, you know, help be supportive. And it's just kind of made it really special. So I always love this. Here, here my grandmother signed her little spot. So um, I love that a lot. Something that I get to keep and save for the future. This book is also not about adoption. <laughs> it's about a rhino, um, but it's called How the Rhino Got His Skin. And it's so cute. So one of our Christmases, um, my siblings ended up um, not, we, I thought everybody was not gonna do presents that year because normally we all kind of give like get a family, we draw their name and then we buy them certain gifts. Um, and that year that everyone said that they didn't want to buy gifts just because it was gonna be kind of a hard year and everyone. So we decided just to kind of in, get enjoy getting gifts for the nieces and nephews. Um, but when I got there, they all ended up 
pitching in their funds to get James and I some money to help us with our adoption process. So every couple of pages I read through the book was another like five or $20 or $10. So they donated um, a couple hundred dollars to us that day at Christmas. So it was really special. Um, and then they all signed it in here for baby. And I think we'll end with something really special. So this is probably one of the first outfits James and I have ever purchased. We kind of bought it as a take home outfit quite a few years ago. Um, I don't know if we'll still use it as a going home outfit in the future, but it's just the cutest thing. <laughs> so I love pineapples and this can go for a boy or a girl, but isn't that so cute? It's so little. It says, I woke up like this. I would love for this to be a little take home outfit. It's a little wrinkly because I've been keeping it saved in the, um, saved in the little hat. Here's a little hat that goes with it. And we have little bloomers, like little pants. Aren't they so cute? I love these little pants. They're so tiny. And then of course, like the little socks, but then they also have extras kind of like the mittens for the hands. So I just thought those were so cute to go together. Oh, and I almost forgot our bonus one. This is something special that James had the family got us, our sister and brother-in-law over there. It says baby flag, it says, um, I am proof that God answers prayers and it has a 2020 calendar over here. Now they got it for us when we announced that we were actually going to be adopting um, our embryos and we were hoping that 2020 would be the year that um, our baby would be born. But unfortunately, as far as we all know, obviously <laughs> this is not going to happen. Um, but the exciting part is 2020 might be the year we get pregnant. So we're still kind of keeping it as our keepsake with the sign with the 2020 calendar, just kind of moving that idea to maybe we'll be expecting this year, which would be exciting. Um, and then hopefully someday baby gets to wear this, but we've got it just like this. It was a really cute little present, like a little Christmas bow on it. I think it was the same Christmas we ended up getting that book from my side of the family. Um, and it was just kind of neat how God worked that out just because it was a hard year for us. So God was really kind of just giving us some encouragement that time. Um, but I'm saving this um, for the future. I didn't want to change any of it up because it's so special. Um, so I think that's it guys. Um, that's all of our things. It's kind of quite a lot of stuff. We have a whole bunch more that we've been kind of saving that everyone's been passing down to us and different little knickknacks and things. Um, go ahead and uh, like this video if it's something that you kind of want to see more of, something just personal things to us. Um, also comment down below if there's something that you've been saving for your future little one or if you have future little ones, is there something that you had saved um, before they were here um, or anything special like that. But um, I think James is going to make a fire. We're going to go make some hot dogs tonight and have some marshmallows. So um, maybe I'll put in a couple clips of that right at the end. But other than that, that's it for me today. We're going to go have a good rest of our evening and some time together at the fire. Um, we're praying for you and your journeys, even though we don't know all of you by name. And um, we're grateful for you being a part of this little community of us here. All right. Keep hopeful. Stay hopeful. Stay positive. Thanks for joining. Have a good night, guys.